Showtime! What's happening, folks? First and foremost, me, Khan. Is my mic good? Do I not sound like a robot? Am I okay? What's up, my man? What up, what up? Do I sound okay? Oh, you sound completely okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone, you back up again. Let's do this intro one more time. You know, you can't check technical stuff on X till you're going, so I got y'all with the intro. Don't worry about this. Here we go. Here we go. It's Showtime! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Rain, a.k.a. Rain Raps, here on behalf of Blue Ship with FOMO Bowl Club. Hope all you're having a fantastic Wednesday morning, evening, afternoon, or whatever it may be for you, If even if you're out of this world like the FOMO Bull Club is as of lately, as well as Bird. Big shout out to Bird with that Hello Moon I.O. partnership. I see you, big fella! So good and excited to see each and every single one of y'all here, man. It's going to be one hell of a good time. If you've never been to a FOMO Bull Club space, you got two things you can expect. One, you're going to have the best time of your life. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. You will have the best Twitter space experience of your life. If you have not, let me know, and then I'll get really upset and angry. No, I'm just kidding. Other thing is, you're going to get a tremendous amount of value here, man. We have phenomenal guest speakers up today. Make sure... Uh, if we don't have you up here yet, you're one of our speakers. There's a ton of people coming in the space, so I want to make sure we get everybody up in here as well. Right now, we have MemeCon, Bitcoin, and Bird. We're waiting on Buddha, Crockcat, and Ixfi. Ixfi. I do see we have two requests, so Poly Doge. Poly Doge. Love some Poly Doge. And we got Bright Slash On. Bright Slash On. So, I just want to make sure we got the firm request. Um, you know, people sometimes get on different accounts, all that aspects and stuff. So I'm just going to verify on my end, Pulley Doge and Bright On. You know, we bring you guys up, whatever. Figure all that jazz out. And we'll be good to go. Okay. So Buddha invited you up here to speak. So ultimately, guys, this is going to be a blast. It's going to be an absolute blast. If you guys are unfamiliar with FOMO Bull Club, I don't know where you've been. I really don't. I don't know where your rock is, but your rock must be pretty dang secluded, man. FOMO Bull Club is a members-only decentralized launchpad and liquidity hub for meme coins on Polygon. In short, without me rambling on, guys, pretty much, if you hold a FOMO Bull Club NFT, right, you're a part of the herd. The herd is a term for our community that plays a crucial role in promoting and supporting new meme coins within the FMBC, the FOMO Bull Club. That's the gist of it. I'll obviously break it down way more in depth a little bit later on. But without further ado, let's get some uh, some introductions going. And big shout outs to people. Obviously, our topic today, which we'll dive in in a bit, is next steps for meme coins and obviously preventing rug pulls in meme coins, which we've all seen before. So, meme con, tell us what's going on, man. Quick introduction, bro. So good to see you again, fam. Yeah, thank, thanks, mate. Thanks for the intro. Um, yeah, been uh, been a busy start to the week. Um, Got a couple more partners lined up. Just announced one today with a partner called Tokonomy, who are doing like data for uh, for meme coins, which is really cool. So they're going to be helping us out with meme con. And yeah, for everybody that doesn't already know us, uh, we're the first ever meme coin conference taking place in Lisbon this year from the 28th to the 30th of May. Uh, we already have some amazing partners with us. Some of them are on the space right now in Bird and Buddha and Crockat. Um, but yeah, plenty more to come and uh, some big announcements in the coming weeks. So yeah, you can look out for those as well. Love it, folks. It's going to be the party of the century. Meme Con, guys. Check it out, man. Getting lit, getting hype in Lisbon. Li right, Meme Con? Lisbon? Is that correct? It is, mate. Yeah, Lisbon. Look at me. Yeah. Look at me getting culturally advanced, bro. Look at me go. Heck yeah, we love it. Okay, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. I had the pleasure of speaking to you earlier on a different space. How you doing, Bitcoin? Tell the people a little bit about yourself. Give a nice introduction. I'm good, yeah. I was like, this is a familiar voice. What's going on? So, yeah, we are uh, the first meme coin on Reddit. Uh, I would say second meme coin on Polygon. We came after Polydoge, but uh, definitely an early meme coin on Polygon. And we, uh, we are native to Reddit, but we are growing and expanding into the web3 ecosystem wherever it is so yeah it's we're having a good time love to hear it love to hear it guys bitcoin you guys are gonna love bitcoin they have such an awesome story super excited for them to share some more information about that later on bird bird my boy you just keep on flying back with the flock fam good to see you brother how you doing 
Oh, Bird, don't you give me no awkward silence, Bird. Bird, are you oh, there? I'm, Come I'm on, Bird. Here. Like, Twitter was kind of rugging me right now, like it always does. Uh, we're doing absolutely fine. Uh, you know, thanks again for, for, for inviting us here. Uh, it's nice to see some of our partners all here. You know, MemeCon, big shout out. Big shout out to Buddha, another one of our partners. You always have the bi-weekly spaces. Yeah, man, we're here for the good times and, you know, hopefully learn something from you guys and hopefully you guys learn something from me. And yeah, man, like just uh, here for the good vibes. Absolutely. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. And we have Buddha up now. Okay, Buddha, mic good, connection good. We know X, man. X has some, some trouble sometimes. So Buddha, are you there? Oh yeah, I'm here. I only oh, actually yeah. disconnected right now because I couldn't hear anyone else. I saw them go unmute, but I couldn't hear all their beautiful voices. So I was like, I gotta be able to hear everyone. Like, there's no way I'm not gonna not hear everything everyone's saying. But yeah, well, thanks for having us. We're really excited to be here. Uh, you know, we're Buddha Coin, a mindfulness token built around memes and just keeping people all happy, calm, relaxed. And just finding more educated ways of getting into the crypto world and being comfortable with the people that you talk to and finding just like a trustworthy place to be able to learn a bit more and kind of just highlight the thing that you're talking about today. And that's, you know, preventing rug pulls and, you know, how aggressive that is in the meme world. You know, we're just like that beacon of light for people to come through, learn a little bit more, find out how everyone's tricking everyone and then use that information to become a more reasonable, matured investor. Wow, I, I feel enlightened already. Well said, Buddha. Well said. I love it. I absolutely love everything you put out there, bro. I'm pumped to talk to you. Pumped to get your insights. And then last but certainly not least, we have the one and the only P -P Polly Doze. Polly Doze, what is happening, my man? How you doing? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, so, hey. Uh, it's Jordan here on the Poly Doge account. I am not on the San Pepe account today, so I will not be doing a Kamehameha unless unless I get requests that uh, you know that you guys want me to do it. It's it's all good. We can definitely do it from Poly Doge too, because you know pretty much same team. But uh, yeah, real quick intro about Poly Doge. We are the OG meme of Polygon. We've been here since the beginning. We have 240,000 holders who only meme coin on Polygon so far that has hit 100 million plus market cap. Um, you know, we've built NFTs, metaverse events, games. I mean, you, you name it, we've done it. And we are rolling out all kinds of stuff for this year. It's going to be exciting. And uh, yeah, we'll be running Polycon 2024. We'll be looking forward to having all the different partners i'm sure several of the different uh, speakers on the stage will be a part of that as well and man i'm just ready to get it man i'm i'm hype i'm hype you know look what's happening right now with everything that's going on with btc and you know retail is is you know they're like oh what's going on over here you know we need to get involved so man i mean we haven't even really seen the full retail come in just yet and uh it, it's gonna get crazy it's gonna get cray cray so much love. Thanks for having us again. Always an honor. Big, big Cray. Cray! We love to see it, folks. We absolutely love to see it, man. And, you know, before we dive into the discussion, meme coin rug pulls and stuff, so, like, yeah, the, the conversation today is going to be pretty straightforward, right? You know, I'm going to throw it to each of you guys, share your insights, you know, personal stuff, all that jazz. I'll make it super easy, though, for you guys to answer, of course, as always. But, you know, before we dive into that stuff, I really want to highlight just some, some awesome positive things that have been going on. You know, specifically in FOMO Bull Club. So first and foremost, the last Twitter space we did, which I believe was Friday, Thursday or Friday, I think Friday. The time flies lately. If you're in Web3, you understand this. Every day it feels like you're on one hell of a rocket ship. Um, but we were at 52,000 followers on Twitter. We are now at like 100 and, at the start of the space, 132,000. I think we're at like 132.2 now. So that, I mean, that's astronomical. That's unbelievable. Second big thing we guys want to talk to you guys about too that's huge is um you know we're we're very thrilled to announce and excited to share that oh, formal bull club the token fmbc will be officially listed on bitmart l bank and mexc that's right folks legitimacy for the meme coin gang rising up formal bull club leading the charge then the last other little highlight, if you're still not feeling super bullish on what we're doing here and everybody that's working with us, 
is that Mario Nafal has officially joined the team of ambassadors. All right? If you guys don't know who this guy is, you can literally look at our posts. You can look into him. Uh, but this guy is an absolute maniac. An absolute massive, legit influence. And having him as an ambassador on the team is... I mean, there's really no words. I, I really can't put words to describe it. I'm, I'm being blunt. It's out of this world. It's literally out of this world. So, quick highlights I wanted to share. You know, I know we're all hype. We're all pumped up. You know, I'm one to come and come on myself here. Probably Doge, too. But without further ado, let's get the discussion going. Now that everybody's amped up, feeling pretty good, let's talk about the ultimate debate in Web3 and in meme coins, of course. The rug pull. The rug pull. How, how do you prevent them? How the hell do you avoid them? It's one hell of a question to ask. We're going to get some answers here from some of the best in the industry. So, Polly Doze, we'll start off with you, fam. Tell us your experience with rug pulls. How do you prevent them? Maybe give some personal anecdotes on some you've experienced or seen. Share your insights, fam. Man, bro. I mean, uh, like... <laughs> Woo! I uh, think thinking about every experience that, that, that I've had, uh, you know, being rug pulled, man, uh, I mean... Uh, it's a list, bro. It's an absolute list. You know, I've been, I've been in this space now for four years. So, um, yeah, man. Um, okay. So first off, I mean, I would say that one of the biggest ways to prevent rug pulls is, is to keep your FOMO in check, right? <laughs> is to keep, a you know, and make sure that you're doing your research, make sure that you know, you're not just jumping into something just because everyone else is jumping in. Because all too often, that's how I've gotten rug pulled. You know, I, like, I'm not, I'm not hating on Solana or anything, guys. I'm not hating on Solana. But I, I, am, I am like 10 to 10 rug pull uh, on Solana. Like, every coin that I picked on Solana or had someone show to me that I got a bag of, I got rug pulled <laughs> every single time. And... Uh, you know, most most of the reason that is is because, uh, you know, I'm not a Solana Maxi. I'm not someone that has really been a part of the Solana communities really at all. And, you know, I'm, I, I bleed purple, right? I'm, I'm here on Polygon. I've been on Polygon, you know, um, you know, since there were just a few users. So I would say that learn from me, right? Get involved in the different communities. Um, you know, be a part of the projects that you that you invest in, uh, get to know the teams, get to know the people, you know, why would you trust this particular person with your money, right? Why would you trust them to, uh, you know, have some of your harder money that you're potentially going to be able to, you know, make some profit on? I mean, we're all here for the same reason, right? I mean, ultimately, at the end of the day, we want to change our financial destiny. And with that comes the ability to hopefully accomplish many of our, our goals and our aspirations and dreams. And so I would say that, you know, that the, the number one thing is, is just research, 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 you know, know what you're investing in. And especially when it comes to, you know, different, different types of, of hype cycles, right? So DeFi has a hype cycle. Memes have a hype cycle, different types of, you know, Asset classes have hype cycles. Like there's one main hype cycle right now that's happening around like ERC 404, right? And, you know, kind of those different utilities and different things that you can do with that. And if you don't do your research, you can end up, you know, losing a lot of money because there's actually major security concerns within those particular contracts. It's very complicated. And so there's other asset classes that are being developed right now to really kind of, you know, help to take away those barriers and protect investors. But if you don't do your research, you wouldn't know that, right? You would just go on uh, maybe Coin, CoinGecko and say, okay, you know, I'm going to get into this ERC-404 or this one. But guess what? A lot of them are exploiting right now because of the different um, vulnerabilities. And so... That's uh, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not even gonna try to take you know a ton of time here because I'm I'm sure that everyone has you know different experiences, um you know with rug pulls but um, 
but yeah, you just you just really need to make sure you understand uh, what you're getting yourself into and learn from others that are, that are you know successfully trading or successfully um, you know working within that particular um, topic of the space. You know whether that's memes or NFTs or MFTs or um, I just I just drop I just dropped some some alpha name right there. You're going to be hearing that name a lot in the near future. MFTs, meme fungible tokens, whole new asset class is going to change the game. I'm just going to say that. But <laughs> all right, well, that's that's my two cents for right now. We can get into it more in a little bit later. Man, well said, buddy. I, I could I literally could not agree more. I could not agree more. You know, I, you know. I'll be have the full mobile account, of course. You know, this is my name is Rain Rain Raps again, everyone. Just to make sure uh, this is out there, so I'm not going to share, you know, any specifics on any rug pulls that I've been, you know, fallen to. Uh, obviously, because I don't want any negative connotation up here with the brand representation. But that's the beauty of Formal Bull Club. Literally, this thing was created to, you know, bring together communities and put the power in people's hands and communities to work together as a cohesive unit. Right to get involved in in the right meme coins and or deny meme coins that you know don't have the community aspect or the actual you know developmental features built into it. Right, so it's it's incredible, it's amazing. I love it, Poly Doge. You literally could not have said it any better. Amazing, buddy. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, we have two new people that joined up as speakers. I just want to get quick intros out there, and then we'll throw the question over to MemeCon. Let's go with Croc Cat. Croc Cat, you know I love you, Croc Cat. Nothing gets me more than Croc Cat. I'm low, sorry, I was getting rugged by Twitter joining, and then it was just <laughs> me. So, honestly, it's not just meme coins that get rugged. It's Twitter, too. Um, but yeah, Croc Cat here, community takeover. Uh, love the meme, love what we're doing. We're just trying to put ourselves back out there. Raiden, Shillin. Uh, partnership with MemeCon, so that's exciting. We'll be hopefully in Lisbon. Partying with everyone, seeing you guys, selling merch, putting Croc Cat everywhere. Um, trying to get a 3D printed Croc right now to have all our holders wearing a Croc Cat head. Um, so that would be exciting. Um, yeah, that's about it for intro. In terms of the question, um, community takeovers just wait for a community takeover and then just join them and then there you go you're not rugged <laughs> um like it's crazy you really it's a casino right when a coin drops it, like and it opens right up you really have no idea unless you have like some crazy alpha of the dev team um you know that's where you do your research if people know the team or know the coin it's associated with another coin that's doing well. That's also something good. Like, you'll know, like, okay, well, if Bird, I, well, not, I doubt Bird will, but, but, you know, if any, if Whiff decided to put out a coin or something, and then, so you, you'll know that, you know, it's community-based and you're not going to get rugged there. Um, there's also, I mean, for us, when we were down under and dying, Bird and Buddha, for example, they gave us a shout out and they were looking out for us. So things like that is also something to look for when, you know, another community is talking about a coin. They have done their research. They have done their due diligence and they're doing a shout out. Obviously, you want to do your own research, but that's also important to do as well. So honestly, uh, I've with getting rugged and whatnot, I really just see if it's like unironically a community takeover or not. Because then you know it's community-based. You know everyone's working for their bag. You know everyone's, you know, wanting to hold until one billion. So, yeah. Amazing, buddy. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, man. Like, I, I think it is tremendously hard to fail as a project, meme coin, etc., if you have a very strong community. Like, you, you really have to self-sabotage yourself astronomically in order to fail if you have built a phenomenal community like that's hands down 110 percent. i love that i love that seriously that's great advice guys seriously look for phenomenal communities look for communities literally that are here man like poly doge bitcoin 
Bird, Buddha, Mean Kong, Crack Cat, got your back. And another speaker that we have coming up here, uh, EMG, EMG, Super App, EMG, give a little intro about yourself, fam. We weren't expecting you, but, um, you know, to be honest, we're all about, uh, you know, introducing great people in the community. So we'd love to have you shoot your shot, fam. How you doing? Thank you. Yeah, I had lots of uh, rug pulling uh, when I was trying to join the space, but uh, here I am. It's good to be here. Yeah, it's good to, good to uh, see all you guys. Uh, I'm Pauly Dodge. We're, we're in a group uh, through um, through QuickSwap, uh, through Darren. So, so some of these, I think, will be, will be uh, connecting. And uh, yeah, just briefly, we're, we're, uh, we're actually a, a telco software company uh, that's that's really built out uh, software like e-commerce CRM for um, you know big brands like T-Mobile or institutions uh, O2 Telefonica's and we've go, uh, we've built uh, over the past years we've just been building really, uh, uh, a super app I call it but it's it's really a, it's a it's a it's a D-Pin, DeFi and a social fire all in one and if I can say just like that really quickly and uh, it's really cool uh, we're trying to enable people to to use it for connectivity getting um, you know data getting uh, all kinds of uh, phone devices uh, by using the app you earn um, for every transaction you do on that you get five percent back directly to your wallet and we're going to be integrating a lot of games a lot of even we're looking for a cool mem coins communities and you can have your own uh, rooms there and we're going to be interacting with other communities as well I think a couple have already joined um, and uh, yeah we're really excited and uh, looking forward to uh, you know working we're, we're on the polygon chain of course and um, so this is a great so a great place to be and uh, regarding that the topic with the with the rug pulling I look at it at a different angle as well I come at to it from a project point of view so you know you have a legit project you have a company behind it uh you know families we've got uh all together 100 people in uh, in uh four countries it's a probably held company with my dad and uh you know we're, we're, we're we've we've built it out over 20 years it's not like uh you know a corporation or anything and then um you come into web3 and, and you know you want to do good you want to you you love the technology you believe in the, the uh you know this, the whole uh movement and and uh and uh then you then you come in and you're like uh you know you go to uh, an exchange and, and you use uh for example gsr one of the top market makers right but you take a loan model so you give them a shitload of tokens one example and you go to an exchange and let's say you decide to pay for uh for the listing with uh, tokens because well you know it, it 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 sounds great because they're like well we're gonna market you we're gonna do this for you we're gonna do that da -da. and then you know legit you do a lot of marketing da -da -da, and, and then you then you in good faith you launch the fucking thing pardon my french and then then uh who gets pulled is you get rug pulled you know you get 90 to 90 uh, percent drop uh because of uh what they actually do the the you know the the gsrs or the market makers of, of the world that uh, do these low models and um you know it's it's that's kind of a, a shitty thing as well to to look out for and um i'm looking at, at from a different angle i guess not you know from the users i i, I understand like look at the project do your due diligence uh see if it's actually some you know you, the references behind it if they've got a registered company and all that, that that's that's a good sign but uh from another angle as well the the, the it's it's not really rug pulling i guess but it's you know basically the the, the project then look is looked on as a, as a as a rug puller instead of you know looking at what's what's really behind it so yeah that's that's the negative part uh, i want to be positive uh, but uh just uh just uh, being careful with that as well as, as projects and uh you know and also bringing uh what i love about the polygon family and, and the you know the quick swap and and the teams there they they really um, you know onboard people and make them feel uh you know um, uh you know they introduce uh teams and other projects and that's what it's all about and and sort of uh have, have that kind of uh, friendships uh, and building uh, together is is really important so yeah great to be here and thanks thanks for having me yeah, buddy, uh, it sounds like you hit the lottery for what you're trying to build. Uh, I, I can't imagine a better space for you to be in. Uh, 100%, <laughs> bro. Like, you know, between us and everyone else here, uh, I would definitely try to stay well-connected and reach out to uh, any of our speakers up here. They're all 100% legit and well-seen members in the Polygon community for certain. And I do have, I got to ask a side question here. Are, are you a big caffeine guy? A caffeine yeah, yeah, you drink a lot of caffeine. We got, we got a, we got, a, we got an espresso machine in every office, in every, uh, you know, house, and every probably in the cars as well. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I'm a very, very big caffeine guy. Okay, yeah, I can tell. You know, you're z z z z z 
zooming. You're zooming, my boy. You're zooming. I love it. You came in with the energy, and you are hyped up. You're hyped up, bro. Okay, well. Fantastic. Happy to have you here, fam. Looking forward to talking to you more in a second. Thanks. Man, okay, okay. If you're looking for uh, a wonderful hype time, check out EMG. Absolutely phenomenal. Love having him up here. Um, we're going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to go to a, a very chill guest now. This guy, you know, he gets hype. He's energetic. Something I love about this person is, you know, they've built, you know, what they've done brick by brick. They have literally climbed over um, failed rug pulls and basically came out of hell, hell itself in Web3 to now build, you know, something that is unbelievable and extremely amazing for the space. Without further ado, folks, it gives me the absolute honor and pleasure to introduce someone who's going to share some phenomenal insights. Meme Con. Meme Con, Meme Con, Meme Con. Come on up, buddy. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, that's hilarious. Actually, really funny. You you know me pretty well now already. I guess most people know me quite well from from my, uh, yeah, all the stories of me being rugged. I think I, I, you know, a lot of people have been rugged. I think I might have been rugged the most out of everyone in this entire space. Probably, probably combined. But, um... Yeah, what what are my kind of like insights? So, I think one of them is um, this is uh, pretty aggressive, but ninety nine percent of KOLs are scum. Um, I would say if you listen to ninety nine percent of them, they are mostly all talking shit. Like if you go in and you go into a meme coin, you buy a meme coin based off of a KOL, you're asking for trouble. Um, that's probably the first one. Uh, another one probably is something to do with the devs being active in the actual community. So if you go into like a community and you see people saying that the devs gone to sleep for 24 hours or something like that, and they're making excuses, then, um, usually I'd say that's probably a telltale sign. That's another rug. Um, if you, I would say this as well to keep yourself safe. If you ape into like a meme, um, and you ape like early, then early for me is like anything under a hundred K. If you're anything later than 100k in my kind of like what I do is, you know, you've got to expect that if it's already at a million or something like that, the chances are you're going to be too late. So it's like try and get in as early as possible. If you're in early enough and you get a 2x, take out your original money straight away. And then you're just basically playing with kind of money that you can do whatever the fuck you want with. Um... So yeah, take out your original investment. And then the stuff that Quatcat said as well is like right now you've got you've had so many people that have been rugged, and that was going to be one of my points as well, is look for community takeovers. Um, I think there's one CBDC, the central bank digital currency on Solana. I think that just got taken over as a community as well in the last couple of days. So they're the kind of ones that you know that the community is actually going to stick around. You're not going to get rugged anymore because they're actually there. And then the last thing, finally, is to look, you know, the stuff that we're doing at MemeCon is we've purposely done this to try and prevent the things like rug pulls. You've got, you know, projects on this space right now that are actually building. They are actually building towards being at MemeCon in Lisbon. So you know they're going to be around. They're putting their money where their mouth is. They're actually building things. They're not just kind of like... Yeah, like they're, they're docs, some of them as well. So you can actually check them out. You can speak to us. We verified some of these people. We have groups with them and, you know, we're building a community of people that are trying to build the meme coin space. So, so yeah, they're, they're probably some, some signs and just things that we're doing at meme cons to try and, you know, help people not to get rugged. Well said. Well said, brother. Well said, absolutely, yeah. You know, I, you know, we, we've talked so much at this point in so many spaces. You know, I'm humbled. I'm humbled that you feel like, you know, I, I do know you a bit too, you know, and that makes me feel great, man, because it's seriously, like, it's a very tight-knit community here. Um, and if you do become part of this community, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's revolutionary, seriously. Like, it's, it's finally, uh, to be honest, I think, like, you know, the more people... It's going to sound terrible, but again, uh, you know, channeling my inner my inner Buddha aspects here, focusing on the, the optimistic aspects of it, you know, I trust people in projects, or people that have been involved in projects that have experience in rug pulls. I trust them more than people who haven't experienced a rug pull. Because if you've experienced a rug pull, and you've been able to come out on top, somehow, some way, bounce back, I mean, my God, you, you're built different. You're, you're straight up, you're built different. You're built different. And MemeCon... Yeah, no, I mean, I can vouch that this guy, (laughs) 
this guy's literally a robot of a hundred different body parts at this point um, that he's had to replace and rebuild one by one. So that's finally gotten to the point where he's like, okay, I have mean con like this. This shit is indestructible. Like this is uh, nobody can stop this thing now. And I'm going to guarantee that this is, you know, for the best of the best, most legit. And uh, we make sure that everybody involved, you know, has one hell of a good time, which I love and is absolutely amazing. But also Hellcats, Hellcats, I see you in here, man. Um, you were supposed to be one of the speakers today. If you want to request, feel free to hop on up. If not, no worries. No worries. We got you back regardless, buddy. But uh, request, I'll make sure to pull you up here as well. And then um, Bitcoin. I'm going to throw it over to you now. You know, in Bitcoin, give a little bit of the origin story, too. Uh, I think that just really adds. If a lot of people don't know about Bitcoin, um, their origin story is super wholesome. Um, it is it is pretty incredible as well, their journey, what they've come from to where they are right now. And, uh, you know, it's pretty inspiring. So Bitcoin, take it away. Share some insight. Give a little origin story background. We'll go from there. Sure, yeah, there's a lot of people in the space that I certainly haven't seen before, so <clears throat> love to share our story. It's a whole bunch of fun. So really, in July of 2022, basically the peak of NFT hype, um, Reddit released their own version of NFTs. They called them Reddit collectible avatars. They were uh, little snooze that you could buy your avatar on the platform, um, and in the first generation, there was one that came out that uh, was a cone head. It was uh, just a silly guy with a cone on his head. Um, <clears throat> and after I talk, I'll share it to the, uh, the Jumbotron. But basically, that had so much meme quality, um, and everyone was laughing about having a cone on their head. Uh, of these avatars or NFTs, there were 608 total that were minted someone one of our co-founders actually made a joke in the avatar trading subreddit that he was a bitcoin maxi and really someone took that idea so it was just an nft and they said that would be super funny if we made a meme coin out of it so someone created a meme coin with the initial supply or actually a, a cap supply of 608 billion on polygon everyone who had the nft uh could put in a claim and they would get sent 1 billion bitcoin for every cone head avatar they had so I forget the exact number, somewhere around 470-ish claimed uh, their billion, and then the rest went to a community treasury that we've been using ever since to fund and give back to the community. Um, and it started off really small. I mean, you have 608 people, and since then we've grown to over 13,000 people in our subreddit um, and actually providing a lot of utility to the Reddit ecosystem as a whole, we have uh, a whole bunch of different uh, staking uh, rewards going out. We've helped other communities get onboarded. I was actually talking to Jordan, uh, and we're going to try to get Polydoge on Reddit and using our application. So what we really helped us take off was we had a content monetization platform where we took the Bitcoin in our treasury and rewarded users for making quality posts measured by the upvotes they received. And they were able to get their Bitcoin and grow. And then they can also tip one another on our subreddit, which is really, really cool because it just fosters this sense of community. And then as things went on, we kind of adopted the ethos. Uh, Cone stands for compassion over negative energy, and that's really what guides us, um, really just being wholesome and helping people out and teaching people the basics of Web3. Really, we see our function as that bridge between legacy Web2 and Web3, helping people learn safely, um, and everything we do, not everything, but from the community treasury standpoint, we try to add value and teach people in a way where they aren't at a financial risk. Uh, so it really helps with the rug pull when we encourage people to get involved. They can earn their Bitcoin for free, just making posts, getting involved in the community, seeing what we're about at no risk to them. And then if they like it, they can, uh, they can jump deeper into it. Um, so that's the origin story, but really the way rug pulls in one sense can happen 
to anyone at any time. But I think there are definitely markers that everyone sees. If you have a uh, token that gets launched and the founder has 90% of the supply, that's going to be a rug pull. If the liquidity is provided by a handful of accounts, it's probably going to be a rug pull. Um, and like, especially when it's anonymous, you don't really know the team, things pop up. I think that's, those are telltale signs. At least uh, you should have your warning on where you go, okay, this might be a rug pull. Versus, I mean, when you have people who... I, I started out, I'm still... Even though I love Polygon, like, in my heart of hearts, I'm a Bitcoin maxi. Like, I, like, this trusted, open source, decentralized platform, I think that's the ethos that I love. And it's really cool to see how Polygon's doing that and kind of taking those. But um, I really go with people that have a track record of success, I guess. And even just seeing people when you're active on Twitter, you see, okay, these people are in a Twitter space. If they're, they're giving advice. They're not, I mean, you have to have a nose for a bullshit detector where if someone comes on and they tell you that it's going to make you incredibly rich and like, it'll change your life. And that's it. That's all they have to offer. Like be skeptical about that because that's just, you're playing a greater fool game at that point versus teams that are out there building and adding value. When you see the work being put in the likelihood that it's a rug pull is so much less. And that's all that I have to say for now. I know I was, uh, taking up a lot of time didn't need to be too worried no buddy what do you mean that was incredible i told i told y'all it was worth it man get, let's get some reactions up in the chat man isn't that one hell of a wholesome story i love that man monetizing content in order to empower community members i, I mean I, I that's genius absolutely genius and it, it's incredible dude bitcoin you you always have my support 100 percent, man love it love what you guys are doing love what you continue to do um and yeah really hope really hope that partnership works out with polydoge too I think that would be uh, an incredible venture for both you guys to continue to grow and blossom one another. All right, Buddha, 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 Buddha. Peace be with you, my friend. Buddha, share a little bit about what y'all got going on and your experience in rug pulls and how to manage them. How do you prevent them? Tell us the wellness approach to prevent oh, overcoming. Man, man, a uh, very weighty conversation for sure. I feel like everyone, I just want to call out, everyone said really valid things. I think they all represent something that is definitely needs to be taken into consideration. I think what, one thing that needs to be reminded of the question that you're asking, there isn't really necessarily one right answer for this. There's a multitude ways of like approaching, protecting yourself, protecting others, vetting everyone. Uh, there's like, we live in, we're humans at the end of the day. There's, it's so easy to get tricked into something letting your own emotions find a way to convince yourself into something and that's actually something we try and promote like one way that you can kind of help prevent rug pulls is just having like a more grounded approach to you as an individual when you know what you're looking for that generally helps you make more educated decisions around the things that you're getting yourself involved in and like at the end of the day like this is a highly emotional space that we're in it's incredibly fast kind of how you were saying fomo before that like a couple of days in the crypto space feels like an eternity uh it's a strong thing to be conscious of and at the end of the day when people are moving as fast as they do I'm, i live in new york city myself so i feel like i live in the epitome of what it is in a fast-paced environment and i have to constantly remind myself like the pace that i see around me is not a representation of what happens all the time and i think that translates into the crypto space tremendously and being able to kind of slow down take a look proper look at what you're like getting yourself involved in what you're trying to learn one will help you better ingest the information that you're, you're you're farming for yourself but in addition to that you're better able to kind of make a decision of your own personal emotions on that information that was provided to you and i think that that's like a very strong point to kind of keep in mind when you go into this like just being grounded being smart about the things that you're doing reminding yourself like what your own personal principles are and making sure that you don't eliminate those when you're making a decision on what you're getting invested in it's really easy to kind of run a hype train and it's really quick in that respect to be able to diminish all of your beliefs in that respect and 99 percent of the time i would argue a person who's kind of fallen into a rug pull had a moment of lapse in judgment in that respect and it translated directly into a ra irrational decision 
and that kind of ties back into like what we try and do. Uh, I heard a lot of people talk about how they try and be a bridge towards helping people understand more accurately, like how to be a refined investor, how to be a more grounded person. I think that everyone is doing a remarkable job and being able to highlight those things as a project owner helps give assurance to, pro uh, to the people investing in your project. At the end of the day, I think like being able to have conversations with people, being able to tell people and encourage them to take profits, something that uh, Jax was just saying from MemeCon, I think a big red flag, for example, and I think Jax will agree, if a project is telling you not to take profits, like that's a big risk because there is like an underlying intention to keep your money in something. And if everyone's selling you and giving you harassment for the fact that you simply just want to take a little bit out, I think that's a big sign that this project might have more malicious than not intentions. And so being able to go into a telegram, having conversations, kind of gauging how people respond, the tone that they're providing you is a really strong indicator of like where a project can go. Because if you start immediately getting hyper negative response, if people are telling you not to do something, I think that just leads into the fact that they are only looking out for themselves and they actually don't care about your life and your benefits and how you positively impact something. And being able to kind of fish that information out is a really, really effective way of being able to gauge that stuff. And one of my favorite taglines is authenticity recognizes authenticity. And at the end of the day, like if you're an authentic person and you tend to do things with the best interest of everyone in mind, I feel those people will always be able to identify that kind of behavior, that kind of energy, and they're able to recognize it and move forward with it. And I think that that's also like another thing that people need to be just mindful of. Like if you're just a genuine good person, like you'll be able to see those people, you'll attract them to you. And as long as you're just grinding away and putting the time in and showing up, it's going to be recognized. And it's uh, the best way of showing like assurance and accreditation for people. And if the project isn't doing that, I just genuinely think that that's a bigger red flag than not simply because it's not always about building things. It's just about making sure that the messaging is correct and that everyone who's representing the project understands what the message is and they're able to promote it 24 seven without ever lapsing into that. Man, that was articulated so beautifully, Buddha. Thank you so much, dude. Seriously. Literally. I mean, that was just so powerful, so inspiring. And, you know, I, I could not agree more, man. You, you get what you give in this world, 100%. You align yourself with people who, you know, have the same ideologies and or passion that you do, as well as care for people. I think it just is astronomical. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you got your hand up, bro. What's up? Yeah, so Buddha actually triggered something with me when he was saying both stay grounded and having that momentary lapse in judgment. And I remember from the time I was really young, um, my grandfather always used to say to me, and I have 24 cousins, so a shitload of cousins, but he would always tell us like the goal in life isn't to get rich quick. It's to get rich for sure. And I think every time that there's a rug pull and people get wrecked, I would maybe not every time, but the vast majority of the time it's people get greedy and they want to get rich way too quick as opposed to the get rich for sure um and making the right decisions and making calculated decisions and understanding what you're doing as opposed to oh i'm going to throw on a hundred dollars and in a week it'll be a hundred thousand dollars like that just doesn't that doesn't happen with the frequency that people delude themselves into believing when they have that fomo but if you're patient and you go nope i'm going to grind it out um and i'm going to make sure i make the right decisions consistently then you will get to where you want to be. I love it. I love it. Bird, I'm going to come to you, but hold on, because I'm going to have you, you know, obviously give your take and your experience and everything, too. So, Polly Doge, you got your hand up. Polly Doge, what are your thoughts? Hey, I mean, I, I love everything that everyone has said, especially, uh, you know, Buddha. Man, <laughs> yeah, that, that was so beautifully said. You know, actually, before I came to uh, the crypto industry, I owned four sports massage clinics in Portland, Oregon. And so, you know, I'm, I'm very much, uh, you know, the, the type that loves to, you know, listen to like meditative music, meditate, try to ground myself. And, you know, one thing that, that uh, just kind of, you know, sparked in my mind, uh, you know, about something that my grandpa taught me as well. And this is this is something that we can all remember is that when you are in a state of, um, of panic, when you're in a state of fear, 
or hate or anger, you actually shut off your frontal cortex. So my, my grandpa was a psychologist and he worked with, crazy enough, he worked with rehabilitating sex offenders. So, I mean, the guy really knew his stuff. He knew how to take, you know, some of the, the, the worst. So some people have made some of the worst decisions you possibly can make in life and rehabilitated them and get a, about 80% um, non-offending rate, which is just uh, unbelievable, right? And so, um, so you know, when, when you get into that state, you know, just remember that you need to, you need to breathe, right? Breathing is, is key. When you breathe, you change the whole dynamic within your, your metaphysics, within your mind, body, and spirit. And so if you, if you slow down your breathing, you make sure that you're not angry, you're not too excited, you're, uh, you know, because I, I mean, I'm, I, I've been a victim to this. I mean, I've seen, I've seen bags, you know, go to crazy amounts and I'm just like, I don't know what to do. What I'm going to do. Do I, do I take it out? Do I not, you know? Um, and, and so like, uh, you know, like Bitcoin was, was saying, right? Like you need to have a strategy and go in with a strategy before you are even investing in anything. Now, one other thing that I wanted to say, because, because, uh, and just real quick, I, I don't want to take too much time. I, I know that all of us here have so much to add to this conversation. Um, is you know really look for those teams that have grit and tenacity. Look for those teams that never give up, no matter what happens. And like uh, you know, several several others have said about you know kind of waiting for the community to kind of take over. We, we, we had the same experience with Polydoge. Most people don't know this. I've, I've said it in other spaces before, but in the first month and a half of Polydoge, we had a pretty huge team, good amount of allocations, and probably about um, 13 of, of the team members out of the 16 dumped all their bags and, and pretty much left, right? And, and that was within the first month and a half. We hit 78 million market cap. So it was myself... Uh, you know, a few other core team members and then some community members that were like, okay, like, let's uh, pick up the pieces and, and run with this. Now, crazy enough, I didn't find out about that till seven months after the fact. I didn't know. I didn't know that that was the case. We all made like this pact and said, you know, hey, we'll take a certain amount of profits at certain levels, you know, make sure we don't wreck the chart. You know, we got the momentum We're the doge coin of polygon, we're going far. Right. And, um, and you know, several of those other guys, they, they did not uh, follow, follow the, the path. Now we eventually went all the way down to 2 million from 78 million to 2 million. And our telegram had barely anyone speaking in it. We had just, uh, that, that was when uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis happened with Iron Finance on Polygon. Billion dollars was liquidated, um, you know, by tons of different investors and people that were on the chain uh, within like 24 hours. It was, it was just crazy, right? So all of the coins, everyone got hit. And when we were sitting at 2 million, we were just like, okay, you know, we know what we have. We know that we can, we can turn this around. Um, and we just, we just kept going. We kept going. We kept building. We kept, um, you know, our, our, our biggest ethos, just like Bitcoin and Buddha and many of the other uh, coins up here is that we love to collaborate. We love to support. We support, we've supported probably over 500 different projects on Polygon alone just in the last three years. And, um, and through that, and through linking arms with other projects and, and kind of building ourselves up within four months, we had 120 million market cap. So that's, uh, that's just a little bit of the story to tell there. No, I just want to that, speak man. to that really quick, you know, just yeah, to for, highlight for. the thing that you were talking about with like tenacity and grit and just like showing up. Like, I think that also like translates over to like, like, Another big factor is like we don't at Budacoin, for example, like we never promote necessarily like, oh, we're going to a billion market cap. Oh, we're going to 100 million. Like that is not necessarily like within our messaging. Like I have like a personal like 
taboo of it, mainly because I've always seen those projects tend to kind of like lean more towards like being a scam than not. And that just kind of is like a representation of like boots on the ground, working hard, having the tenacity and grit and understanding that this is not an overnight success and it rarely ever is. And the people who do get that overnight success simply just got lucky with the timing in place. It is nothing more than that. There is no specific formula to how people break into a billion dollars overnight. It is just the fundamental basis of working hard, grinding out, building visibility, and getting to that finish line in a reasonable, realistic, honest way. And just like being able to like remind people like this isn't an overnight thing and the projects that tend to remind people that that's the case are the ones that tend to succeed the best and that just like highlights what both both of you were saying uh and i just wanted to make sure that i c call that out because i wholeheartedly agree with everything you're both saying thank you buddha thank you thank you thank you buddha yeah guys who is not following all our speakers up here today man you know if you got any value whatsoever about what's being said which i hope you i know i have 100 percent you know, just heard so many amazing stories, been able to just, you know, be motivated, inspired by seeing not only what people have been through, but how they've overcome certain hurdles and challenges. And again, their grit and tenacity to keep going. Uh, it's absolutely incredible, guys. Make sure you guys are dropping a follow on all these amazing projects. Oh, man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. This is probably the most wholesome space we've ever had at FOMO Bull Club. You know what? That's good. Because when you see a topic preventing meme coin rug pulls, probably have no idea what the hell to expect, right? And so, without further ado, to have us also share some of their insight as well. They haven't had a chance to chat much yet, but I'm very excited to hear their insight. Love their project. Love everything they're doing. Let's hear from Bird. Bird, how you doing, fam? I'm doing amazing. So, in the topic of preventing uh, rug pulls, uh, first of all, I would say you got to do your due diligence, right? There's two situations where you enter into a project before launch and after launch. And I would say, just go into, if, you, if you're in a project before launch, go into these Telegram chats and just ask questions. See what they're actually doing, you know. Uh, are they posting on Twitter? Are, is the team, like, working hard, like, before launch? Are, are they answering questions? Are they avoiding certain questions? You know, just the other day I was on a, a coin, like, TG, asking some questions. And actually, you know, the team members kind of... Uh, respond to me in private and say, oh, don't ask those questions. And I was asking very valid questions such as, where's the initial liquidity? Like, what, when do you plan to launch? How do you avoid bots? Uh, how, what's the, the, the experience of the team? And, and from that point forward, it was just like, okay, these guys are probably not serious. You know, they're avoiding questions and I'd rather just be out. It might not be. It might be that they're very inexperienced, but in most cases, just like a rug pull. So that's number one. And second, when you get into a project after launch, just go into the TG, ask the community members what they think of the team, see what they've been up to since launch. And, you know, like if, if it looks good and the team is working hard and actually answering questions and being, you know, legit, like that's a good project. Like that's a good project. Even if it's a little bit down, it's going to go up eventually. It's, 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 it's one of those things where if the team keeps working hard and actually building, you know, like it's eventually they're going to go up. So that's number one. I would say just do your diligence, look for transparent, active community engagement and like just credible partnerships, you know. For example, uh, it's just like um, uh, Jack from MemeCon said, like, I any project that's here, and a lot of these projects have partnerships with MemeCon, I mean, like, that's a sign that none of these projects are going to run because they're actually putting their money where their mouth is, you know, like, they're coming to a, to a conference to dock themselves, so it's highly unlikely that any of the projects that associate with them will ever run, so just also look out for that. And second, uh, I, just, I just want to advise guys to be aware of the hype and FOMO. And first of all, whenever, like, and meme concept that as well, whenever you see an influencer posting about a token, be very careful. Most of the times, it's just them pretty much saying, I want you to pump my bag, so come and put some money in. Obviously, they're not going to say that, but that's pretty much what they mean most of the times, because sometimes these people don't even know what the team is doing. They just got paid, like, I don't know, 500 to to $1,000 just to make a post, and you, they might be advertising a rug. They might have invested and in waiting for their 3x to, to get out, and they want you to come in and put exit, exit liquidity money. So just be careful for that as well. And second, another thing is pay attention, uh, you know, to the to the Telegram chats. If the team is telling you do not sell, do not take profits, 
it's pretty much them selling where we are here to be the only ones to make profits because it's 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 a it's a financial market. People are gonna buy. People are gonna sell. People are gonna take profits. It's just a normal cycle of how things go. And if somebody's selling you to do otherwise, it's just like pretty much thinking about his own interests and not thinking about the interests of the team of the project as a whole in the community. So I would say those are my advices for people. You know, like um, like avoiding rug pulls. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to avoid everything. But, you know, like also another advice that I'll give is diversify your portfolio, even in meme coins. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, even the shortest project they've been in could be a rug pull. You, know, you never know, like teams eventually could get tired and just like say, okay, we're, we want to be out and just shrug and leave. So just don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you put it in 10 meme coins and two of those rug, at least eight are safe, so you're good on that, on, that, on that way. And stay informed, guys. Just don't invest in a project, and especially when it comes to meme coins, just don't invest in a project and just leave, you know. Every now and then, go check Telegram, ask questions, check your Twitter, and that kind of stuff. And I would say those are the ways that I've, I've been able to keep myself away from, from rug pulls. Obviously, I've been rug pulled in the past, but I haven't, I haven't been rugged in a while. But those are the usually what I the checklist that I use in order to invest in a project and avoid uh, rug pull. Amazing, amazing! I love that. I, I love that you brought up the whole diversification aspect. I think that is super important, right? Like nothing, nothing in this life is a guarantee, of course, right? So always make sure to do your own due diligence and you know protect yourself. There's no better investment you can make than investing in yourself, right? So again, not financial advice, but you know health is wealth. Your overall wellness, everything that's been discussed so far today um, is massive. And if you can take just a fraction of what has been told today, folks, for everyone listening, and, you know, utilize that going forward in your Web3 experience, I can guarantee you, you know, you will have a much better experience than you've ever had before. Guaranteed. Like, that, nothing's worse than being, you know, stressed and nervous and unsure and just completely out of your, you know, zen, per se, and make irrational decisions based on that. So there's been so much amazing insight. I love what everybody said today. Again, if you guys got any value at all whatsoever, just had a good time, please make sure to drop a follow on these projects, man. Check them out. Have notifications on. Join their discords, their Telegram group chats. Literally take the advice that they gave you. Remember, these are projects, right? Take the advice they gave you and use it on them. Why not, right? It, it, you love seeing projects practice what they preach and everything that these guys have preached today is something they practice. So if you're looking for phenomenal projects to get involved with, I mean, you have a phenomenal panel of speakers and projects right here that you can look into instantaneously, guys. So make sure I'll check it out. So we are at about the end of the show, but, you know, I, I obviously I don't want to go over. I know people have hard stops and all that jazz. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to give everyone a quick rapid fire. So 30 seconds max each. Um, you know, tell people how to stay connected, tell people some big things that's coming up with your project, and we'll go from there. So rapid fire, we're just going to start it right off the rip. Meme con, tell them what's going on. Now, I'll speak on behalf of Meme con then. Meme con, check it out, guys. Get involved. Big, big party of the century happening in Lisbon, May 27th, 28th, sorry, and 29th. Yeah. Birthday. Oh, Meme con's here. Meme con's here. Sorry, sorry mate. Yeah, literally, as, as you just said, yeah. Uh, First ever meme coin conference in Lisbon, 28th to the 30th of May. Uh, big partners already there. Got bit huge partners on this space already with us as well, who are supporting us all the way. Bird, Buddha, Croc Cat, all the others as well who are listening in. Um, yeah, massive, massive exchange coming in the next couple of weeks. It's going to blow everybody's minds with loads of competitions and everything else happening. So, so yeah, looking forward to seeing everybody in Lisbon. Let's get wrecked. Let's get wrecked. All right, Polly Doe, 30 seconds. Take it away. What's going on? What's there to look forward to? How do they get involved? I mean, you know, we're, we're, <laughs> we're just, we're just getting fueled up, you know, for this bull run. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And, you know, we're building out the community. We're working with tons of, of different memes, you know, like the, the biggest, uh, exciting thing that's coming for Polygon right now is the meme coin season, right? So several of the memes, 
that uh, on Polygon, we're all working together. We're working together to make this magic happen. And so you're gonna see uh, you're gonna see a bunch of DGens, you know, coming over to Polygon soon. Another thing that that we're working on is our own CDK, which is the Polydoge chain, where Polydoge will be a gas fee, and that chain will be the first storytelling blockchain multimedia experience blockchain of its kind. We even have uh, you know producers that we're working with from Hollywood to put out you know film that's gonna be around the narrative of this particular story, around what the future of AI could be, good and bad, kind of like Black Mirror for the blockchain. So we have a lot that's coming. It's going to be crazy. Millions and millions of people are going to see Polydoge this year. Love it, folks. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. All right, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Exciting stuff happening in the future. How should people get involved? Awesome, yeah. So you can check out our website. It has everything. It's bitcoin.lol. Uh, most of the people that in our community you'll find on our subreddit, reddit.com backslash r backslash coneheads. Um, and then on Twitter, we are super excited for this year. I know uh, Jordan just mentioned that it's Polygon meme coin season and it's coming hard and fast. We're uh, definitely, if you guys, I know. Twitter and Reddit don't really have a, uh, a bridge, but we can help you bridge that gap. We've helped onboard a handful of Polygon projects, brought them over to Reddit. Uh, one example would be Gone came over. We have uh, Techio and NFT projects. So we love to help Polygon projects get on Reddit to meet a new community, and we can even give you the uh, let you use the application that we use for the content monetization and tipping and stuff like that. We are happy to help whoever wants to come over and really just want everyone to grow together. Fantastic. Fantastic. Super excited for you guys. EMG Super Lab. Super Lab. Tell them what's going on. Tell them how to stay connected. What's some big stuff coming? Yes. So, so I drank some, drank some tea instead of coffee. So I might take a minute instead of 30 seconds. I'll, I'll talk slower. But uh, it's was, it, was it green tea, though? Was it yeah, green tea yeah. Black it, was, tea? It, was, it was green tea, though. Like, so. Oh, there's still <laughs> caffeine in that. There's still caffeine okay, in there. Yeah, well, well, then I'll be quick. <laughs> so so it's EMG Super App. We're, we're on Melody Group. Um, what we're doing is really exciting is in the sense that we, 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 you know, we're welcoming other projects, memcoins, uh, games, and, and um, doing some kind of uh, incentivize for, for their users. Uh, we really want to grow the community and uh, not just on socials, but actually in our in the app. And where we differentiate from other projects, I believe, is that we actually have an end-to-end -end application built, uh, launched, and, and uh, has a use case for, for uh, not just Web3, but Web2 as well. Check it out. Uh, you can download it on Google Play Store and Apple. It's EMG uh, uh, Super App. And um, yeah, like Polly Dodge and you guys, whatever you guys are doing is, is amazing. And it's something that we can, uh, I think, really uh, have a nice uh, collaboration with. Uh, and just just on a quick note on, on the stuff, you know, one thing people look out for as well, it's really hard to, even if you've got teams, uh, you know, you got all all the, uh, you, you go through the teams and everything you go through the uh, you know the project um, make make sure that you you know you see actually some progress uh, check out if they're actually you know building something uh, even if they launch and so on you know this is coming from, from my experienced uh, software uh, you know owner uh, it, make sure that uh, there is something behind uh, all that you know that wonderful messaging and uh, that's really important not to just get caught on that big hype and uh, look behind there if there's a foundation if there is something really being built and and there, there, there's a results which which i hope that the, the web3 space will, will get more of those kind of projects you know that actually really built after they get all those those pumps you know so peace out everybody and i enjoyed uh, enjoyed the conversation thank you fantastic happy to have you up here man all right croc cat croc yak got your back tell them how to get involved any final things you want to share big stuff coming Oh, uh, God, I, sorry, I was, <laughs> I hate being at the spot. Um, no, much love, FOMO. Uh, thanks for having us. I appreciate it. Uh, where to find us? We're usually really active on Twitter and Telegram. Uh, our Telegram is full of just people joking around, making memes. Um, so if that's your vibe, please come. Uh, in terms of what's being planned, I mean, other than meme con, which is like the biggest thing ever, uh, we've got a game coming out uh, that features a lot of our 
other communities that we've collabed with. Um, shout out to Choo Choo, Bird, Buddha here, FOMO, MemeCon. You guys have been honestly with us since day one when we were like 80k market cap and no one would look at us. Um, but I mean, thanks to you guys, thanks to collaborations. Honestly, collabs are like my favorite thing to do with other communities. Um, so if anyone you know wants to do anything, just let me know. But yeah, I mean, thanks so much. I love it, bro. Well said. I, I have a pet cat. I, I gotta see if I can get one of those croc hats. See if I can actually put one on my hat, on my cat, not my hat, my oh. cat. Doctor, <laughs> this damn no, thing. No, love that. Like people putting crocs on their cats. We have a whole uh, meme channel just of that, and we're trying to send it all to the official croc to see if they'll do like a shout out with you know crocs and cats. So hopefully they they notice us and have a look at us. But yeah, but I, I if you do that, please send me pictures because I I love. I you got love you. It. I got you. I got you, bro. Okay, Buddha. Buddha. Take it away, brother. Yo, yo, yo. Awesome. Yeah, well, we're Buddha going, by the way. Thank you, FOMO Book Club, for such an amazing space. I love having topics to discuss. It's my favorite thing. I love educating. I love sharing information. I love hearing everyone's opinions on things. It's the best. Uh, we are Buddha Coin. You can check us out in Telegram, Discord, Twitter. We're active everywhere. We got a really great community. Everyone is really kind. Everyone is hyper involved in the community. Uh, anyone that has any experience with mindfulness, wellness, meditations, you name it, they're welcome to be a member. They're welcome to be hosted on our community spaces and all of that jazz. And that just segues into some of the things we're doing. We got a meditation space hosted tonight. It's a great representation of who we are we got a really amazing one of our uh, community favorites bobby gongs handling the space this time every single one of these spaces is hosted by a community member they are providing their expertise to help you learn how to be mindful please come check it out i put the uh, tweet in the in the comments if you want to take a look we'd love to have you tonight and any community please reach out to us or bird we have a partnership we do a collaborative space twice a week where the whole focus of it is to bring people in have a conversation showcase projects this is how Crockett got eyes on it this is how we got MemeCon introduced to all these people the point of it is to share information share each other this is not a pvp space come check out all this good stuff we got a really cool things being built i'm not going to share it right now but please check us out and check out everyone else here they're phenomenal people well said well said you heard it there folks check the comments be there tonight it's going down. All right, Bird. Whew. Grand finale, close us out, and then Pauly Doe is going to do a comic coming right. up. We're the Savage Bird. You already know we got the little knife ready to stab everyone to the top. Um, you know, a lot of things there, a lot of things going on with the Bird community. As, uh, as FOMO mentioned at the beginning, we just announced a partnership with uh, Hello Moon yesterday. So that's something that we're very excited about. You know, it's going to bring a lot of attention and a lot of big things coming from that partnership. Uh, like Buddha said, we have that partnership with Buddha. I'm not going to go too much into it as Buddha already did. Uh, we also have... Um, you know, I always like to go to this point, like we have a lot of utilities at the present moment, and I'm just going to run it down a little bit. We have a partnership with the Back HQ. For the people that are not familiar with the Back HQ, the Back HQ is a crypto company that provides a, a visa, a, a debit card backed by Visa and MasterCard, so you can use it in 140 different countries. So at this moment, if you order one, you can actually spend bird tokens in real world things such as like food, whatever you want. And we have other other utilities. We have the Camino vaults. Uh, we have a partnership with Camino. And right now we have a, about 800 billion tokens and Camino vaults uh, for rewards. So basically the way it works, you, you, put, you stake your bird tokens in Camino vaults and you get rewards in bird tokens and you also get Camino points. And Camino eventually is gonna do airdrop. So if you do that, you're gonna get the airdrop. You're gonna be eligible and you're gonna get a nice airdrop from Camino. Other things that we got going on is we got up, we we have a lottery dab like this has been going for about two, like a, a month and a half now. We have two ways the lottery works. Basically, the first one is for bird tokens, so you can buy raffle tickets with bird uh, with Miro tokens and a bunch of other tokens out there in the market. And the bigger the the the, 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 the amount of tickets purchased, the, the the amount of raffles purchased, the bigger the pot. And every week we got that 
uh, raffle going on and at the end uh, a ticket is chosen at random and that person gets bird tokens and we just announced as well about two weeks ago our Solana raffle basically you can buy you know uh, raffles with a meme token such as bird and all the other tokens that I mentioned and actually the prices in Solana instead of being in bird so that's something that we're very excited about we got an NFT collection coming uh, the, the artist is like the, the PFP is already done and the artist is actually working on the trades and it's almost done I would say in about like one month uh, we should release that we also got a lot of other stuff coming we're gonna uh, you know um, continue working on our lottery dab you know eventually you're gonna be uh, like other tokens are gonna be able to use our lottery dab for their own purposes so that's something that we're very excited about and if you want to find us just follow our twitter join our telegram you know like we're very transparent people we ask you can ask whatever question you want and you're going to answer and we have an amazing community we post on on twitter like maybe 10 times a day uh, we have a lot of memes we have a lot of partnerships the partnerships just keep on coming we have partnerships with bankbot got bit you know stone Dave crew uh project uh, and some that I just forgot right now, but yeah, man, we just had a lot of things coming. And if you want to know more, come to tomo come tomorrow to the space, to the Buddha and Bird Shill and Shill space, episode nine, if I'm not mistaken, and come in and ask whatever questions you want. And if you're a project and wants to come and shill and you know just talk about your project and actually learn something about the crypto market, just come to the space. And we also have an educational part, just, just like we had today at FOMO. So. Yeah, man, just some of the things that we up to. And thank you for inviting us again. And thanks for everybody for coming. And follow these wonderful people on the panel. They're all amazing projects. And I believe they're going to be long term. We have talked to the teams as well of some of these projects. And they're all legit and want to want to be here for the long term. Wow. I don't, I don't know if Bird breathes. But he got everything I needed to say. Hey, and I man, loved it. When, Very insightful. When you got a shell, you got a shell, bro. Huh? Hey, man, no, no. It's all respect, bro. It's all respect. Okay, folks. Yeah, thank so you. it's it's been a phenomenal space today. It's been super fun, super insightful. Again, big shout out to all our partners up here. Make sure you guys check out FOMO Bull Club. FOMO Bull Club is a members only decentralized launchpad and liquidity hub for meme coins on Polygon. You heard it first, boys and girls. It is meme season in the polygon world and the best part about it is community members are seen as ambassadors who ensure that each launch reaches its full potential aiming to set new standards for community driven success in meme coins so something one last thing i know we've gone way over time over here guys but trust me it was 100 worth it what i'm about to do is going to leave something you know massively memorable to everyone here so first and foremost super labs can you unmute your mic real quick so, you just super app? Yes. Super app, yeah. Yep, yep. That's me, yeah. No, right. Super quick. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. So so you're new to the to the meme coin community, yeah. right? Like you're 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 new to all these guys, right? Oh, yeah. And you wanna you wanna get in, right? You wanna get in with these guys, you wanna be well connected with these guys, and you like what you've heard today, right? Hundred percent. I love it. I love it. Right? Okay, so so in the meme coin space, man, there's a big there's a big concept of trust. Trust and transparency. Now I like you. You seem legit. But we need to know if you got that that meme spirit inside of you. Okay? okay. And so in order to find that out, we have something we usually do with um, you know, saying Pepe, who's actually Polydoge today. So Polydoge, can you unmute your mic? Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's do so this. Polydose. Yeah, I'm already scared. Polydose. Polydose. <laughs> so this is I want to make it really intense on Super Labs, because Super Labs can do this. It's I mean, super, super app, them. not super labs. Super app. Oh, super app. <laughs> super app. Yeah. Well, you probably made it in a super lab, right? <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Super app. Got it. So, Polly Doge, you're not going to do it today, but you're going to teach him. You're going to teach super app how to do it. Ah, okay? teach one, be one. That's uh, that's the key to creating amazing communities. Teach one, be one. Love that. Right. I love it. Take it away, Polly. Okay, so... The way that you're going to do this is, have you ever watched, did you watch Dragon Ball Z growing up? No. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to teach you this. This was uh, something that's really iconic within the series. And San Pepe has a lot of inspiration from Dragon Ball Z as a, you know, major fighter, yeah. Japanese lore, you know, type okay. of anime. Okay. Yeah. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to, when I, when I say three Two, one, go. Okay. Go. 
Okay. Yep. You're going to go ka me ha me ha. <laughs> and you're going to do it as loud as and as as energized as you possibly can. Like just completely bring the whole DGen spirit within, right? Just, I wonder what that means. You, you, can you repeat it one more time? Yeah. Ka, ka me, me, ha, ha, me, me, ha. But you're gonna do it loud. You're gonna do it loud. You, you're gonna. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna try to show you up or anything like that right now, right? So, like, I would give you the example, but like uh, FOMO Bull Club has said, we're gonna be I, I, teaching you. You're I, the paddle on today. If I do it, all right. So if I if I do it uh, right, then I'll I'll be I'll be uh. I'll be part of the club, right? I'll, I'll you're in it. Yes, <laughs> you're yes. Right. You will be in the meme club. You will be in the, the meme club. We can trust you, man. So no pressure. Okay, here we go. So, ka me me ha ka. <laughs> nice, man. I mean, you you were close. You were close. You you almost you almost had it. You almost had it perfect. You almost had it perfect. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's do it one okay. more time. This okay. time it. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you, just remember it's ka me ha me ha Okay? Like that. Okay. So ka me ha me ka. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Let's awesome. Go. Congratulations. Right. That was, that was great. You have now been baptized in the fire of degeneracy. Oh wow! I'm I'm honored, and uh, <laughs> I, I was I was expecting that, man. Fuck. That's great. Gen world. Okay, I love you guys. Well, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> welcome. Thank All you. right, folks. That's gonna wrap it up for us today. You know we had to give you a little meme action at the end. We are a meme community at heart boys and girls so we all i told hey man i told you we'll always keep it 100 percent legit up here y'all seriously if somebody comes up they look legit you know we got to make sure they they can do the part right we got you back that's the whole purpose of formal bull club big shout out to our community members man we love y'all we appreciate y'all stay lit stay yeah. blessed stay hype hey, make sure you guys interact with all these but i'm gonna up here today I have, a, I have a quick question are you coming to meme con Oh, I know you want me to go so bad. You, I know how bad you want me to go. Um, so me personally or FOMO Bull Club? I mean, you personally and FOMO Bull Club, are like the members. Yeah. I mean, okay, true. Uh, I will say to be determined. If if I have the opportunity, I'd be more than happy to go. As Rain Rats. Now, FOMO Bull Club. I probably guarantee we have some internal people that are most likely going. Gotcha, gotcha. Does that answer your question? That answers the question perfectly. Good, good. Damn it, Bird. You took you took the hype outro away and shit. Uh, how am I supposed to close it out now? Kamehameha, uh, bro. You gotta do it. Kamehameha. Can we do it? Kamehameha. Can we do a they collab one? Week. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. One call. We're 20 minutes over. People are going to get... All right, let's do this. I'm down. Screw it. Let's ride. All right, count us down, Polly. Oh, we're doing group? We're doing group. All right, everyone unmute. Everyone, everyone unmute. everyone unmute. Yep, everyone Bird unmute. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, Buddha, unmute. Bitcoin. What you called right. about? You called all right, let's about. go. Let's go. <laughs> all right. I'm literally Three. in my office, so I had to like find a room. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come Hell yeah, folks. Thank y'all so much for coming by to the space. Peace, love, positivity, abundance. We'll see y'all next time. Shout out the partners and stay on the lookout for the next FOMO Bull Club space. Ain't no space like a FOMO Bull Club space. Till next time, folks. Peace.